Oh, hi. Hey guys, and welcome back to the worst keto cooking show on the internet. My name is Joey, I'm your host, and this is about take 1,732 of me trying to do an amazing recipe I created the other night that has just not worked for me at all to film. Every time I've done this without having the camera on, it has been awesome. Everything has gone through just perfectly. And trying to do this on film has been, um, I think the term train wreck would be very appropriate. So I'm a huge, huge fan of Steve on the Serious Keto page. I think the guy comes up with just awesome, awesome recipes. Um, almost everything the dude develops is tremendous. He made a chicken uh, bun chaffle thing the other day that looked really interesting. I tried the chicken bread. I wasn't, yeah, wasn't a huge fan of it. Um, so I had a lot of the batter left over after I'd made the chaffles and I put it in my tortilla press, fried it up and ended up making a basically a carnivore keto, zero carb whatsoever, completely animal based tortilla and tortilla chips out of this. And I really, really want to put the video out for it, but the last three days of trying to film this have been just an absolute train wreck. So this is, like I said, going to be the upteenth attempt at making this video of trying to uh, get this on film so you guys can try this, see if you like it. I'm extremely proud of this recipe. I've had it for the last few days with the batches that have turned out well. Um, and it's been delicious. It's been tremendous. I've made tortillas and tacos and chips out of this. I've thoroughly enjoyed it. The, uh, tortilla, the taco shell itself, the chips, whatever you want to call them, uh, they in and of themselves are flare, flarely, fairly, uh, tasteless. Like there's just not a strong flavor to them one way or the other. Um, so I think if you want to season these almost any way, that would come out really, really good. So I'm just going to be doing the basic recipe on this, show you guys how to do this. You can add whatever seasonings you want to it, whatever flavors you want to it. Try this out. Let me know how you like it, but let's go to the kitchen and see how this turns out. Hopefully you guys will actually see this video. Uh -oh. All right, ingredient roll call real quick. So we've got about six ounces of canned chicken. We've got half a cup of mozzarella. We have a half teaspoon of gelatin and we're gonna use two tablespoons of liquid egg whites. So we're gonna get everything into the food processor and blend it together. All right, so we've got our food processor right here. So first thing we're gonna start with is the six ounces of canned chicken breast. And I leave a little bit of the liquid in there. That seems to work really well for reacting with the gelatin and mixing everything together. Next up, we've got half a cup of mozzarella cheese. And then we've got our half teaspoon of Knox gelatin right here. So I'm gonna open this up just a little bit more. And what I think works the best is I'm going to go ahead and blend this on high and then I'm going to add the two tablespoons of liquid, liquid egg whites to that while that's blending up. As you can see, we've got a really thick paste going on right now, really thick batter. So I'm going to take my spatula right here. I'm going to get everything a little bit closer together, and then I'm going to run this about another 10 seconds in the food processor. 
make sure we've got everything well combined. So next up, I've got a cutting board right here. You just want to get a clean surface. And we're going to take our mixture, try and get as much of it as you can out of there. We're going to get our mixture, get it all together. And we're going to form this into kind of a log shape. Grab a knife, one, two, three, and four. So we've got four little discs right here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to get our tortilla press and we're gonna flatten these out and we're gonna throw these in a pan. All right, so while that's warming up, I've got my tortilla press right here. I've got my little four discs of chicken dough, I guess we'll call it right there. I'm going to spray these down with some coconut oil spray. I'm going to put some in the pan as well. And that, my friend, is a perfectly flat, perfectly circular uh, carnivore tortilla. So we're going to let the pan heat up for another minute or so, and then we're going to cook these guys up. All right, so we want our heat for this to be really above the first setting, right above the lowest one. I feel like that does the best with this. So I've got another one in the pan right here cooking up. We've got a couple that are cooling off. And then just a second, I'm going to show you guys how we turn these into chips. So about four minutes on each side seems to be about the magic number to be able to flip these guys without tearing them. Might also help if I put the tripod down. There we go. So yeah, I got a few more of these guys going, and uh, I'll see you guys whenever they're done. All right, so we've got our last tortilla in the pan right here, over here. We've got a handful of the tortillas that we've already made, and we've got some chips that we've already made. So let's, let's go and flip this guy. He's ready to go. So while that guy's cooking and another four minutes on that side, I'm going to show you how we're going to make our chips. So we're going to get one of the tortillas that we've already made, hit it with the pizza cutter. these around on the parchment paper. Alright, so we put those in the microwave. 
We're gonna cook these for 90 seconds. These are gonna crisp up really nicely. So this is the same way I made the basic like cheese shell taco. Uh, these are gonna crisp up really nicely. And got the ones I've already made over here. You can hear that is a crispy chip. So gonna go and get those made. We got our tortillas over here. And then we got that last one right there, so we're just about ready to do a taste test. All right, so these are done in the microwave. This guy has about another minute to go, but I'll show you. They do darken up quite a bit, but they are crispy. They're hot, obviously. They just came out of the microwave, but... We've got completely carnivore, zero carb, 100% keto chips right here. Uh, with this last batch, I threw in a little bit of taco seasoning, so if there's any carbs in them at all, it's going to be the negligible amount that's in the taco seasoning. But we're about to make some, uh, make to make a little bit of dip to try these with, so I'm looking forward to that. asking yourself, hey Mercer, why so many chip recipes? Well, as a couple of wise men once said, I mean, that's tough to argue with. So we have got our completely carnivore, completely keto, zero carbohydrate whatsoever tortilla chips right here. These guys are so good. Extremely crunchy. The taste is great. Add whatever seasonings and flavors you want to them. I'm going to be experimenting with this a lot. I do think the tortilla side of things, I'm going to need some work with that. It's good. I know it can be better, but this is also, as far as I know, the first time anyone has done a chicken tortilla like this. Um, who thought of the idea of using ground meat as a bread? Brilliant. But zero carbs. I've got a little bit of spinach and our chipped up right here, so I'm going to be snacking on this for a little while. I want you guys to try this. I want you to leave me a comment. I want to know how this works out for you. Please let me know. Um, I, I think this is going to be a game changer for a lot of us in the keto community. So give this a shot. Leave me a comment. Like, subscribe. Uh, follow me on Instagram. The at is Dirty Keto Mercer. God bless you guys, and I'll see you next time.